We need to make ourselves a little less dependent on China. We need to make ourselves more self-reliant on defense. 欧盟成员国议员相继对中共和欧洲关系战略进行辩论。根据彭博报道，欧盟委员会本周将公布一份经济安全战略，定书应对威胁及抵御竞争对手经济胁迫的政策与新措施。There are some areas where trade and investment poses risks to our. Economic and national security, particular in the context of China's explicit fusion of its military and commercial sectors, and this is why the central part of our future China strategy must be economic de-risking. 欧盟新的监管将瞄准可用于军事目的的关键技术，并在年底前提案管制可能威胁欧盟安全的对外投资。报道并列出了欧盟将使用的五种工具对抗中共地缘政治崛起，包括反经济胁迫措施、审查境内与境外投资、针对半导体等敏感行业的境外投资实施新的限制措施，并寄出了欧盟港口战略与贸易协议。Chinese regime is moving more and more to internal. Authoritarianism, and towards the outside world, they're trying to take over uh, and carry out this anti-West propaganda. So it's time that the European Union wake up and move away from this triple naivety and decide what we should be doing with China rather than how we would like it to be. 应对中共日益加剧的威胁，欧盟正着手打造更具韧性的经济体。新唐人亚太电视时间，李兆廷宇整理报道。